Hello everyone. For those who do not know me, I am Brooklyn's older sister, Jordan. I feel like I have been preparing this speech for quite some time now, but still, I don't think all of our mock weddings as kids prepared me for this moment. Because even now, I can still not find the words to say how blessed I am to have you as my sister. For those of you who did not know, my parents did not want to know the gender of Brooklyn. It was the longest nine months of my life. I mean, brothers are absolutely amazing. Love you, Preston. But I wanted a sister. I wanted a girl that I could spend all the fun days with and not have to worry about her leaving at the end of the day. When I got the news that Brooklyn was a girl, I was so excited. I planned so many matching outfits for us. We matched till I was about 16 and she was nine. Something that me and Brooklyn always would give my mom a hard time for was having us six and a half years apart. We wanted to be with each other a lot sooner in life. But Brooklyn, no matter what, uh, <laughs> shoot, okay. But Brooklyn, no matter how far apart we are in age, you are still my person. My person to laugh with, my person to cry with, and my person to stay up super late with and go to a late night Walmart run and watch movies together. Brooklyn had a very successful basketball career, meaning she had many fans, but I'm not sure she had another fan like Chris. Chris would cheer the loudest, which was hard to do because he was competing against my mother, would never not show up without wearing her school colors, and would attend all games, even the away ones. Chris, thank you for being everything she needs and wants. You are an amazing guy, and I cannot wait for you to be my brother-in-law. Keep on being her biggest fan. I love you both. You guys deserve a life of happiness. When looking advice on what to give, I found three rules to guarantee a happy marriage. Number one, if you criticize, do it lovingly. Number two, when you have done something wrong, be ready to admit it and ask for forgiveness. And number three, never yell at each other unless the house is on fire. I pray you both continue to light up each other's days and find your love when life gets tough. Some things are worth waiting for. I think we can all agree that the love these two share is something worth waiting for. Now, if everyone will raise their glass to Mr. and Mrs. Evans. <laughs> Good.